guys, it's Sergey from Crystal Freediving and today I'm going to talk about equalization problem again. But today it's not going to be ear problem, it's going to be sinuses problem. And sinuses problem, it's much, much, much more difficult to sort it out. Honestly, I don't even think that this coin can be sorted out except just wait when, um, when it's going to be better. So what it is, we have a, like a areas here, here, uh, which we call sinuses, it's uh, kind of like air spaces and normally, like you know, like if you're a free diver or a scuba diver, you know that when you uh, descend, when you're going down, uh, your body doesn't compress because your body mostly consists uh, from the liquids, but the air space is compressed. The deeper you go, the more and more and more uh, the air compressed. Let's say when you're 10 meters deep, the air compressed twice. When you 20 meters deep, the air compressed three times. So every 10 meters plus one atmosphere. Uh, so, for example, to equalize your ears, you can watch my previous videos. You need to pinch your nose and try to exhale. There is a no hands equalization as well. Not going to discuss it now. This is how you equalize your ears. Pinch your nose, try to equalize. What, what else do you need to equalize? You need to equalize your mask. Uh, we're going to make uh, another video about that. And also you need to equalize your sinuses. Okay, because it is air spaces. And luckily, most of the people equalize their sinuses automatically. It means you don't think about this. Uh, when you're going down, equalization happens automatically. But then sometimes, when for example you're sick and some of your tissues is swollen, and now it's much harder to equalize, okay? Or impossible at all. How, how you can say that this is a sinuses problem? You start your diving and at certain depths, let's say 10 meters, you start feeling pain somewhere here or somewhere here. The deeper you go, the pain becomes harder and harder and harder. And if you're just trying to keep in equalizing your ears, it doesn't sort it out this pain because it's not the ear pain. So what happened? It means that you should stop diving. There is only one solution, guys. I'm a scuba diving instructor in the past. Believe me, all scuba diving instructors, when they have sinus problem, they do believe that, okay, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to use these pills, or I'm going to clean my nose with the salt water, etc., 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 and it's going to be better. And sometimes it is better, but sometimes it can be much, much more worse. I want to share my experience with the sinuses problem. Uh, I was busy teaching freediving, and I get sick, just a little bit sick. Uh, maybe just a little bit running nose. But I was still able to equalize and I didn't stop my teaching. I finish one course, I start the next course, I finish one course, I do some of my training, etc. etc. I was thinking, okay, I'm experienced enough, it's not, a, it's not a big problem. And then I was keeping diving. Equalization was not the best one, but it was okay. And then it becoming worse and worse and worse. I started to use some pills. Um, and then, like one day, I start my next course and when I was diving like about seven meters it was like really really painful really really painful I finished this course and then I was thinking I was still like stupid enough to think that this is not a big problem and then on the next day I go for my own training and I reach four meters and it was incredibly painful incredibly painful uh, somewhere like around my eyes like was really painful as soon as you come up on the surface then everything is fine no pain at all but as soon as you start diving and it was really painful I was thinking okay I should stop diving for a while but uh, the next day I went for the swimming pool for training and you can imagine that even half matter was painful half matter was painful this is how uh, much inflammation I probably have in my sinuses and then it took me three weeks to start diving again 
and during this time I went to doctors I used some medicine and I literally thinking that because of my stupid desire just keep diving keep doing this with my like stupid misunderstanding that I just should have a rest I was thinking that okay maybe this is end of my free diving and scuba diving because like after like the whole three weeks it was not painful but as soon as like I do try it doesn't work like one week one, one week pass I try it doesn't work I try it doesn't work so guys if you have sinuses problem don't do like the medicine is okay go to the doctor is okay everything is okay but make sure you stop diving you stop diving until you completely recover this is going to be really beneficial because if you have a small sinuses problem and then like you use proper medicine uh, you have a rest you don't diving then maybe in uh, in one week you're going to be fine yeah not like in my case it took me like three or i don't even remember maybe it was even four weeks of not to be able to dive